if you just move 10 km north from Bogura town, you will find the most ancient archaeological heritage of Bangladesh, which is all for about 4000 BC. And this land was introduced as Pundra Nagar, which was the capital of the kingdom Pundravarthan. We are trying to show you the total archaeological significance of that place part by part. From the very beginning, we are starting with the Govinda Vita, which is just on the north side of Pundanagar, in front of Museum of Mahasthan Gaur. We are now going towards Govinda Vita, which is one of the significant archaeological heritage of Bangladesh. We will try to show you the details of Govinda Vita. excavated archaeological heritage of Bangladesh. It's situated really just beside for us. the north and wall of uh, ancient Pundranagar, uh, the meaning of the word Govindo is a Hindu god, Vishnu's home. But no species of Vishnu religion has found. But locally, the excavation area is introduced as Govindo Vita, which is stand on the east north side of River Korotoa. Which was a giant river once upon a time. Now seems like a canal. It mentioned Pound first in the 13th century. Epic Korotwa Mahatta. Perhaps the name of the river has come from this or maybe the epic has named on the river Korotua. This land was excavated on the year 1928-29 by a historian K. Dikhit, who was Director General of Govindo Indian excavation jury. And it was also excavated in 1960 by a historian named Dr. Nazimuddin Ahmed, who made a deep hole during both the excavation. It found some copper coin, silver coins, few old utensils, few material made with the black soil of North India, and it confirmed two set temples on east and west part of the high land at the time of Pal Kingdom. From Both the te temple was applied this is the with a civilization wall, which has abolished has 
due to flood of 1922. During the excavation of 1960, few marked silver coins and black bright soil utensil from North India had found. Also found half dozen scriptures of 2000 BC from Shung Es. Seal made with mat, mud, human skeleton, few bottom made with stone also found here. Though it is predicted as a civilization of more than 3000 BC, but through excavation here exhibited the species of 2000 BC and also few species of Mohammedan conquering this place has found. This is one of the most important archaeological site of Bangladesh. Here you will get the oldest archaeological sample. It is situated just in front of the museum of Mohastan. We are now on the uh, Eastern uh, Temple. Here is situated the Eastern Temple. Many visitors come here on different day of the week. They like to find out the archaeological beauty of this place and also get the understanding of our historical uh, strength, historical heritage, which we inherently get from thousand years. And with the bank of River Karotwa, you will find that this plain land of, on the bank of Bay of Bengal is very much fertile and where our labor is farmer to cultivation of different type of crops and plenty of agricultural production because the western temple which was found through the excavation by the historian and here and this is the oldest archaeological heritage of uh, this Delta Island here uh, you will get a rich inheritance of our civilization which we are observing here. You will observe that from the Eastern Temple we are now moving to the Western Temple and this Govinda Vita was first mentioned in the epic which was named Haroto and this Vita is uh, for Vaishnav religion, Vaishnav Vita. But though here the excavation has not found any specimen from the Vaishnav uh, uh, religion and only the specimen has found from the Gupta is uh, 2000 uh, year BC and here we are on the western temple. You know that Kundanagor is the oldest archaeological heritage of Bangladesh and uh, the oldest uh, about our archaeological uh, uh, richness. Our civilization is old, oldest, which was oldest uh, more than 3000 BC. This is the not only the heritage of Bengal, this is the heritage of the world. And 
uh, this Govinda Vita was first mentioned in the uh, epic which was named Korotoa. I have mentioned you and from this epic the name of this river is made Korotoa and this Govinda Vita is just situated on the bank of river Korotoa and on the northern wall of Pundranagar, which was the capital of kingdom of Pundavardhan. We, we have tried to show maximum of the Govinda Vita, which is just situated on the bank of river Korotua. It indicate that our heritage is the oldest one. It first be mentioned in the epic of Korotua, which is mentioned in the name of River Parotua. And we hope that lots of visitors have come and visiting the place. I think that they will enjoy this archaeological heritage. Visitors have come for uh, getting the idea of our oldest heritage of this civilization. And it's indicate that uh, uh, getting extra interest about our oldest civilization. They are entering inside the Govinda Vita to observing the oldest archaeological heritage. And I think that people who will visit here, they can get the idea about that place and also can understand the uh, oldest heritage of this Emerald Delta Island. Thank you. Thank you.